everyone, I'm Jessica, um, and today we're going to be doing the DIY Fairy Garden Craft. Um, and before we start that, I haven't done my drawing for this week, so I'm going to go ahead and do the week six uh, team drawing. So I'm just going to shuffle around here. And our winner this week is Adriana D. So Adriana, I will be giving you a phone call. Congratulations on winning this week's prize. Um, just remember that we do have two weeks left um, and to get all of your entries in by July 30th, I think it's the 30th or the 31st, just have them here by the 30th just to be on the safe side. Um, so make sure that you get all of those in and um, we will be doing our grand prize drawing soon. And also um, if you have more than 30 hours, then you will be entered to win the Kindle Fire and the Amazon Echo Dot. So um, like I said, just make sure you start getting all of your um, hours and reading tickets in. All right, so today's craft is a DIY fairy garden. So in your kit, you had rocks, like some rocks like this. You had some moss balls. You had a white fairy house. You had three things of paint, a paintbrush, and then you had these mini statues. So um, everybody got the same fairy house, the same rocks. We all got kind of different statues. And then um, everybody got some different paint. So you should have had brown, green, and then a random color. Um, and then all you have to have from home is if you wanna add dirt or grass, you can do that. Um, and then just get a, a little place to put your fairy garden in. So this one's a little bit bigger. And since I have a few more rocks and not any dirt, I'm just going to kind of fill up my area with like these rocks. If I was at home making this, I would definitely um, add some like planting soil and some of my succulents from home. Maybe pick some like flowers from my garden. But right now we're gonna make it like a desert landscape. So we've got our rocks. Like I said, you can add stuff as you go. And so we're gonna kind of put this aside Whenever you look at your fairy house, you'll just take the paintbrush. Um, you can paint it however you want. I've already got this one pre-painted. So you've got your base and you've got your roof and you can just kind of nestle it. I'm gonna kind of like put some rocks on top of it just to kind of give it a little bit of landscape effect. So kind of like dig it in a little bit. Make it feel like it's in a little area. So we've got that. And then you're just gonna place your rocks wherever you feel like placing them. So I'm gonna do them like that. And then you've also got your statues. So I'm gonna put my little welcome sign at the front. I'm gonna put my little tree right here in the back. And then everybody's got like some gnomes. So we're gonna put my little gnome like right here to kind of welcome the fairies. Um, but yeah, it's just a very easy, simple craft. Um, here's my little desert landscape one since I don't have any dirt, but just be very creative with it. We've kind of given you the tools and now it's your time to just kind of let your imagination run wild. Um, so I really hope that you enjoy this craft. It's a really fun one and I would love to see what you come up with. If you want to put a picture down below or if you wanna message it to us on uh, Facebook, either way is fine. I just really wanna see what y'all create. Um, and then please join me tomorrow as we discuss a new teen book. I'll be doing The Ones We're Meant to Find by jo Joan He. So I'm really excited to talk to y'all about that and I hope y'all have a great week. Thank you.